Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Chris Martinez from DynamicDuoTraining.com and today I'm going to show you guys um, a little bit about um, blood flow restriction and it's also called occlusion training. Um, I'm going to hop right into it and not waste any time and tell you guys um, you know, how blood flow restriction works, uh, why it's so awesome, and then I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, basically, uh, blood flow restriction um, is awesome just because um, you can do lower intensities and still get the same anabolic effects um, as if you were doing higher intensities. Um, also, it's good for doing uh, deload weeks, um, letting your ligaments, joints, muscles rest. Um, it's just awesome. Okay, there's other stuff that it does, obviously, but I'm not an expert, and um, those are just basic things that what it does and why it's so awesome. But there's a lot of research behind it, um, especially from uh, Jeremy Lenicky and his group over in Oklahoma, and Jacob Wilson and his group over in Tampa. Uh, basically. What it does is when you re and when you um, restrict the um, blood flow, it um, actually pre-exhausts the slow twitch fibers, and those are usually the first ones to go when you start um, working your muscle out. And basically, it has the fast twitch muscle fibers come in faster, and you get the same anabolic response as if you're doing like a heavy load, but you're doing it with the lower load, and that's basically what the blood flow restriction does. Um, so that's basically what it is. Um, I'll link an article to it that has more um, in-depth detail to it. And I'm going to show you guys right now how to wrap it up, okay? So basically what you do is you want to get some knee bands. Not very expensive, but you want to tie it at the limb, right? So I'm going to do quads right now. So I'll tie it at the limb right here. If I want to do shoulders, I'll tie it at the limb up here, okay? But basically, I'm going to tie it right here. Um, I can't really sit here and tell you guys you know, how tight to do it. I would say good rule of thumb is... You know, from a scale of 1 to 10, maybe do like a, between a 7 and 8 and just see how it feels. But you got to really play with it and see what you can really tolerate. But, because it's supposed to be um, uncomfortable, you know. And that's, it's not supposed to sit there and like feel good, you know. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. So I'm wrapping it right here about an 8 right there at the limb. I'm going to tie it right here. I'm about to do some goddamn work right now. All right, so here we go. He's doing his first set. He has both of his thighs wrapped up nice and tight, cutting off that blood flow. It's nothing but pain from here on then. Here on then. Okay, so that was my very first set right there. And I'm doing um, 20, 20 to 30 percent of my one rep max on this uh, leg extension. So, you know, there's different protocols on this, and it can vary anywhere from you know 20 to probably like 50 percent of your one rep max. So, um, you know, that's what I'm saying. You just have to play with it and see what you can tolerate, what you want to do. But I'm doing basically 20 to 30 percent. I'm resting 30 seconds in between uh, sets, and my very first set, I went for 30, but it wasn't really 30. I mean, I could have kept going, but I'm going for 30. My next uh, three reps uh, or three sets, I'm going to do. Um, you know, anywhere from 15 to 20 reps, so pretty much like see if I can uh, take it to failure, okay? All right, here we go. Uh, right now it's starting to burn uh, the blood flow restriction right here at the limb is pretty much just like flushing all the blood right now into my muscles right now in the fibers so right now it's starting to burn once it start getting into this set and the last set i mean it's just gonna it's gonna burn so bad but i mean it, i mean it's an awesome feeling as well so could have sworn i seen you smile you sure it's not feeling good Woo, it's a good pain i'll tell you that right <laughs> now it's a good pain these next two i'm, I'm about to kill it right now these ones all right All right, another 30 seconds. <sighs> Starting to burn. <sighs> Try to make sure there's no people around and 
they can see me, you know, making those uh, faces where I'm wincing and stuff like that. And be like, this guy's a wimp, you know. So, got to do a video late at night right now. So, <laughs> all right, 10 more seconds. And these rest periods, too, I mean, they vary. You know, they can go from 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, up to a minute. I mean, I've never tried a minute because it's pretty hard to damn tolerate. So, we'll see right now. Let's go. One more. But one thing I would say though, um, I would definitely wouldn't recommend doing this like if you're a beginner or even intermediate. I mean, I, I would definitely recommend doing this if you're advanced and you've been training for at least like two years because I mean, this is, it's pretty brutal. I mean, I mean, if you wrap it wrong or you overuse it or something like that, I mean, it could be dangerous, but like I said, I mean, there's tons of studies on it that shows like it's safe and effective and everything. Um, so that's what I'm saying though, if you're a beginner, don't try it, bro. I have somebody that's you know more advanced or something like that help you out. All right, last set right here. It's a failure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I probably could have went up a little more weight. Went to failure a little bit better, but that's basically uh, blood flow restriction and occlusion training. I'll link an article to it that has more detail in it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and peace.